Step back in time with us as we explore a pivotal moment in history on the 1st of January, 1801. On this momentous day, the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland joined forces, marking the birth of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Join our journey to uncover the political intricacies, the significance of this merger, and the impact it had on shaping the course of history. The 1st of January holds more than just the promise of a new year. It's a date steeped in historical transformations. Let's delve into the past and unravel the events that unfolded on this auspicious day. In the late 18th century, there were growing calls for greater integration between Great Britain and Ireland, driven by economic, political, and strategic considerations. The Irish Parliament, based in Dublin, had limited legislative powers, and there were concerns about economic disparities between the two kingdoms. Additionally, the fear of Irish support for France during the French Revolutionary Wars prompted the British government to seek closer ties. The political landscape in Ireland was marked by divisions between Protestants, who were mostly of English and Scottish descent, and Catholics, who formed the majority of the population. The Irish Parliament was largely controlled by the Protestant ascendancy, leading to tensions with the Catholic majority. Prime Minister William Pitt the Younger proposed a series of legislative measures to address the issues in Ireland. However, these proposals faced resistance in both the Irish and British parliaments. Despite initial setbacks, the Act of Union was eventually passed in 1800. It was a response to the deteriorating political and economic situation in Ireland and aimed to create a more cohesive and economically integrated United Kingdom. The Act of Union, which came into effect on January 1, 1801, outlined the terms for the merger. It dissolved the separate Irish Parliament and established a single Parliament for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, located in Westminster, London. The Union was expected to bring economic benefits to Ireland by opening up markets and facilitating trade with Britain. However, it was met with opposition from some Irish nationalists who saw it as a threat to Irish identity and autonomy. One of the significant issues surrounding the Union was the question of Catholic rights. Initially, Catholics were excluded from many political offices, but pressure for reform eventually led to the Catholic Emancipation Act of 1829, which granted political rights to Catholics. While the Act of Union 1800 technically merged Great Britain and Ireland into a single political entity, it did not fully resolve the complex issues of identity and representation in Ireland. The subsequent decades witnessed various struggles and movements for Irish independence, ultimately leading to the establishment of the Irish Free State in 1922. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the diverse histories of our world.